Hello and welcome back again. This is Scorus Mesco and we're gonna play some more Europa and there's only four. Okay, so the thing we were doing in our last video is that we're trying to to uh, get out of the red. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, we'll grant the privileges since um, since we want Patriot Authority to be high because we'll get more missionary strength and local unrest will uh, lower and we'll get uh, the modifier for local manpower a bit higher however we lose we lose of course the local tax modifier but still has three good uh, things that we want so we will grant the privileges okay and uh, what, what they also want to do is to uh, we'll have Novgorod insulted. This will be our mission. We're fighting against Nori. <laughs> and in the Novgorodian, in the Novgorodian conquest, reconquest. Of Kola and Kola is now owned by Sweden. <laughs> okay, send an insult. Okay, got some pre prestige and military power. And yeah, we don't have really a proper mission. You know, they wanted to really help us out. It's, you know, we cannot really afford to attack. Smolensk because Lithuania, Lithuania and their allies, which means Poland as well, would crush us. You know, even though we are allies with, po with the Polish, if we attack um, Lithuania, they return against us, and vice versa. If Lithuania attacked us, I believe that Poland would probably help us out, unless if they were too, uh, they had to too high war exhaustion but you probably know what I'm trying to say okay I have a, I have a claim on some of the provinces I don't own probably Psko and all of that uh, and Neva of course Neva okay the dispute disputation is and uh, the succession is dip disputed in some of other countries and you're actually ac actually supporting a candidate in uh, Poland so we'll see how things go our units have suffered casualties now where is that maybe in the colony hmm losing money we really have to fire that missionary it's not doing too well okay it's growing our new the colony is growing growing slowly but steadily so this is great to us we expand our empire further into the east and uh, of course our goal is to to subjugate the entire Siberia, okay, we gain even more prestige now. This is really something we need, and uh, also we need to increase power projection back. You know, since uh, we refused to go uh, into multiple wars, so Norway actually called us against the war against uh, into a war against Poland and Lithuania, uh, Poland and. Uh, Moldavia and this would mean <laughs> we'd really get completely torn apart and I refused it because this would be really a suicide and as, as a result I uh, lost some power projection points as well as 25 prestige um, so um, but this is really a must but we'll, we'll get better over time don't you worry Okay. 
how core constructions are go going okay and also the mission the missionary is progressing quite nicely so if we look we have three more um, Muslim Muslim uh, provinces hmm maybe you could do something with maybe you could do something with the traders we have hmm we have all the best spots occupied, I believe. And we hold the most power in Kazan, Astrakhan, and Siberia. But no, not Siberia. Yeah, we have, we do have, but um, we haven't yet discovered that trade node. Um, hmm. Baltic Sea. We're okay, we're not do doing too too well in the Baltic Sea. We really need Siberia discovered, but sure so not good. Do yeah, this is the problem. This is the problem here. We Novgorod is embargoing us as well as as well as Sweden. So let us try and return the favor to. Return Novgorod favor. So let us see what now. Let us see what will happen. Okay, we've hit, we've hit the zero. Haha. <laughs> there is bright time ahead of us. Believe me. But in short, you know. Um, it would be best for us if we manage to get hold of all the Novgorodian provinces and form Russia. Ah, this is brilliant. Hey, Pskovian nationalists so, uh, have risen up and they will cause wreak havoc now in Sweden, which really good, good for us. Now, this is really something I like to see. Um, there is the Pskovian and not Muscovite is because um, Pskov here was a separate duchy before duchy, sorry, not duchy duchy, was a separate duchy and uh, we actually annexed them diploma diplomatically as well as here Yaroslav and Tver, Tver and Ryazan and of course the biggest of them was Sperm so we, we still have um, the culture is too Uralic, sorry, Uralic and Perm, see, still considers this to be one of their, one of her core provinces. And maybe at some, uh, some time, point in time, we will be changing culture. Because, see, um, now my country, see, the primary culture is Russian, so this is Slavic culture. Uh, in this primary group, are of course, yes, um, Belarusian and Ruthenian, and Ruthenian is Ukrainian, and they have they cover a lot of provinces here. And um, if those provinces represent 20% of provinces uh, in your land. And those cultures we get will be accepted actually right okay right okay let us check our uh, with tech so we are ahead of time in two fields two ahead of time in two fields but when it comes to diplomatic technology we're a bit behind and which points would we need so uh, this okay we'll take it now uh, let us check Muscovite ideas advance and we get an additional colonist and adjacent, adjacent territory is automatically discovered when a colony is built ok permanent Casas Bella against neighboring Thedans and heretics now let us check this out holy war Casas Bella against Golden Horde Kazan Uzbek Oirat the accursed infidels Okay, and also against Sweden and Lithuania. Huh. 
Look at that, let's just check. Check out how this looks. Okay, show superiority. But yeah, 100% cost for full annexation. Yeah, I'd prefer. I prefer we, we had um, promises for cheaper than that. Let's see, we cannot have everything. Let's just have to to manage. But you don't have, don't want the war really now. So never mind. Mm. We could be our next ally. And I look at the map of the world. Really, don't see any, any, no possible candidates. So. Oh. Poland really suits us. They have Sweden as their rivals and also their enemy. Now, but at least the yeah, United is completely otherwise. So they are the U.S. as their enemies, as their enemy and also as their rival. Okay. Now Sweden is already fighting our nationalists and yeah, they already. Kill them. Now, I could do. I could make a proper fleet, which means that the total navy size is at least seventy percent, seventy-five percent of the force limit. But it would need to build how many? More than twenty, twenty-one ships. <laughs> right. <laughs> So this this is apparently not an option since I have some slight problems with with money. Yeah, I know that there are national ideas available, but we don't want that at the moment. And also, yeah, th th this would come in handy. See, religiously sponsored guilds, missionary strength plus one, and goods produced nationally would increase by. 10% but we first have to finish religious religious ideas here where they are here religious ideas and soon we'll get another a missionary and then we'll decrease the stability cost modifier and then finally you get missionary strength plus 3 which is our ultimate goal here Okay, and again, yeah, missionary strength versus heretics. So, ultimately, we'll have our our um, missionaries will be much higher, much stronger. We'll be able to conquer the entire um, see uh, Kazan region, Kazan and Astrakhan river, as well as maybe here in Asia, in in the southern parts of Siberia. Okay, and we'll completely lose our extension when we when Cheboksari becomes our core province, which will happen in six months' time. Okay, and Sunni Sunni zealots are actually demanding uh, Muscovy to be to be uh, converted but you see they have a 1.4% of increasing their progress by 10% each month so yeah and the next revolt will be in 35 years so good luck with that yeah <laughs> okay this is what we will just wait the missionary to finish his job and then we'll just fire uh, the man that um, this man, where is he? Okay, here, yeah. Fedosi Shovalo. We have to fire him because he's really um, costly for us. 8.1. And also, probably inflation, yeah, plays its part, so. Which is really high. Okay, and now yeah, now we're already gaining money. We have to 
we have to get rid of it and also yeah, we have to repay a bank loan until March 1541 okay now I'll just save so that uh, my game doesn't crash suddenly again here you go as you can see my computer release is not the quickest in the world <laughs> since this is already a four year old laptop so this is quite logical quite logical to expect if you consider what everything this laptop has gone through already <laughs> you can just ask my friends what it's like when I'm losing FIFA here <laughs> And it's, let me just say that you don't want to be my computer at that time. Okay, we're blessed. And we gain 992 ducats. And uh, we'll just get rid of the loan. We don't want it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's much better. Okay. You can never have too much rain. Yeah, it, it, I would be more happy if, if we had um, gold in here, but okay. Now I'm quite happy with how um, the country is progressing now. Okay, see, we already have almost plus two per month, and uh, just let us check how the army counts sta sta army count stands so France has almost 90,000 strong army and we are at 42,000 but we have plenty of manpower of spare manpower Poland has only 25,000 this is really not much the Ottomans are quite strong and Novgorod is also quite strong really surprised me and Sweden, of course, it has is at thirty thousand. But you see, Poland's very good at at diplomacy, so they have many, many allies, such as Lithuania, of course, me, of course, uh, Novgorod, and a few German states among them. <laughs> Among them, of course, among them, of course, Bavaria. Okay, and um, hmm. how many points do we get per month? I will just wait and and probably higher on the run. So, and meanwhile, uh, Cheboksar is uh, now considered is considered one to be one of our provinces. But it has nationalism. And they have no idea how to change that. Okay, it's already decreasing. On the rest, of course, but we have 12, 12, 12 nationalism here. Okay, it's already losing ground. At least that. Okay, and Glasgow is just about to be to be um, to be orthodox. Okay, orthodoxiation has been successfully done. Okay, we only have we are only left with two such regions now, and so. Casting of okay, they will both be hard to convert, but uh, and also it's really nice if we got the mission re uh, achieve religious unity. So uh, and and now this is what I'll do. Um, already already said I do so. Just um, fire this this advisor because uh, firstly we have enough administrative um, 
points and secondly he costed 8 ducats per month so we'll just sack him and um, still we are able to convert this province but to take him a lot more time but still uh, let us do that and now we'll be able to use money for other purposes such as uh, we'll be now able to colonize two two provinces at at one time okay this is this was great and uh, so and here is also yeah this will be much more much better so stability stability costs modify let, let me see that um it will increase our stability by by 20 so not much but yeah okay and he's still here for those in Shoala he's still here I thought he'd, he would leave the court but okay and here National manpower. Hmm. Okay, we'll take him since we have only five a month uh, in, in and in a monthly increase of five when it comes to military power. So we'll just hire him. Okay, and finances are now much better. You see, almost plus plus ten. And what we'll do now is again reduce inflation. And now we're over ten already. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, and of course, colonial maintenance will now be four since we'll be coloni colonizing two, uh, two at the time. Okay, so in this part, we've seen how I uh, try to stabilize internally, stabilize the country how I successfully spread religion to Glasov how I got um, plus 10 <laughs> decades a month how I uh, fired a, an advisor that is not really crucial to us at the moment and how we are spreading our glorious culture and nation to the east so and this will be it for this video and um, hopefully you see I see you all in the next part and see you then my fellow warriors